The COVID-19 pandemic has provided an environment for fake job advertisements to thrive. According to official government statistics, youths aged between 20 and 29 made the highest number of those out of the job market between January and March 2020. The pandemic worsened the situation with the government announcing in May that an estimated 300,000 people had lost their jobs since the first case was announced on March 13. Facilitated by the ease of posting job advertisements online, there has been a surge in the number of fake job adverts since then. This investigation identified 33 scam recruitment Facebook accounts, groups and pages targeting Kenyans, and four key Facebook profiles that demonstrate several characteristics pointing to coordinated inauthentic behavior. These accounts have titles impersonating large supermarket chains in Kenya, such as Tuskies, Quick Mart, and Naivas. Pesacek and Pigafirimbi have already debunked some of these fake job advertisements over the last few months. First up, we have what we are calling the phone call gang. The Tuskies and Naivas supermarket pages had the same contact listed on its about section of the Facebook page. 59% of the posts mentioning the phone number originated from these two public Facebook groups with a total of over 4,000 members. Notice how the Job Vacancy in Kenya group has changed its name since its creation on 3rd May 2018. The group was created by the account called Dean Smith. The other three accounts, Ezra Davis, Patel Lakesh, and Kate Lashley joined later. The account Ezra Davis added Tusky Supermarket and Naiva Supermarket accounts to the group in June. The account Kate Lashley added the Quickmart Supermarket account in August. A Google Rivers image search for the four personal accounts did not yield any results, indicating that they might be the original pictures used by the account owners. However, Ownership search of the mobile number used by the perpetrators using the My Safaricom app shows a different name compared to the Facebook personal accounts identified. Further analysis indicated that these accounts posted job adverts across the platforms in a coordinated fashion and occasionally shared each other's contents. In fact, to gain legitimacy and trust from their victims, the accounts went as far as purporting to debunk other job advertisement scams posted on Facebook. Next, we have the second group of imposters we are calling the Google Docs Gang. They used Google Forms to collect information from applicants. The Google Form requested personal information that could be used for malicious purposes such as registering fake phone numbers and database creation that can be sold to political aspirants. A crowd tangle search using a key phrase from the Google form revealed 48 posts related to the scam. Notably, the posts from the account had the same structure and contact information and even an identical cover page photo indicating a coordinated effort to share the posts. Also note that the Pata Kazileo account was one of the members of the Jobs Vacancy in Kenya Facebook group identified in the phone call gang. 11 unique mobile numbers were identified from the network, 5 from the phone call gang and 6 from the Google Docs gang. This report was brought to the attention of Facebook and 15 accounts from the network have been suspended since then. However, new accounts, some of which we've already identified, are already cropping up. Beware of these fake job advertisements and remember, the promise of a job is not the same thing as a job. And more often than not, if you have to pay for the promise, then it is a scam.